Joe Biden said what? You are now tuning in to TNJ Radio Show. You know, I've adopted the attitude of the great Negro at the time, pitcher in the Negro League, who went on to become a great pitcher in the pros in the Major League Baseball after Jackie Robinson. His name was Satchel Page. Say it ain't so, Joe. Say it ain't so. Before I get into it, welcome back to the TNJ show. If you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell so you can see when my videos are coming out. Now, I am not shocked that Joe, Jim Crow Joe Biden is still calling black people Negroes. I know how he feels. It's just interesting that 90% of African Americans, that's nine out of 10 African Americans voted for him to become the president. After 50 years of Jim Crow laws he put in place. And yes, he is the one who put all these laws in place to hurt black people. If you don't believe me, roll the clip. So I hope this crime bill, when it passes, the Biden-Hatch crime bill, as it becomes law, God willing, I hope that we will have ended once and for all this notion that is a hangover from the 60s, that somehow Democrats are weak on crime and Democratic presidents are weak on crime and Republicans are tough on crime. The truth is every major crime bill since 1976 that's come out of this Congress, every minor crime bill has had the name of the Democratic senator from the state of Delaware, Joe Biden, on that bill and has had a majority vote of the Democratic members of the United States Senate on the bill. But for simple, pragmatic reasons, if we don't, they will, or a portion of them will, become the predators 15 years from now. And Madam President, we have predators on our streets that society has, in fact, in part because of its neglect, created. Again, it does not mean because we created them that we somehow forgive them or do not take them out of society to protect my family and yours from them. They are beyond the pale, many of those people. Beyond the pale. And it's a sad commentary on society. We have no choice but to take them out of society. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Now, Joe Biden has been doing this for years, and it's evident. I'm just so baffled that 90% of African Americans are voting for him. And not just him, just the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party always been dismissive to black people for over 100 years. Nothing never changed. They want you to depend on them. See, there is a law in life, let's say two laws that African Americans should address and should utilize. The first one is you want to make others come to you. And the second law is you want to use absence to create honor and respect. Now, when you push up on somebody and you just continually push up on them and it could be anybody, you can give people a call all the time and eventually they're going to stop answering your calls and they're going to stop respecting you they're going to treat you a certain way now if you're the pursuer they will take you for granted because you're always there you're always in their face showing them support thinking that's the way that uh, they're going to love you and then they start feeling like they have you wrapped around their finger and unconsciously they lose a little respect for you they may not say it, but over time, you can start seeing it in their behavior. And the love and the support that you think they have for you will, over time, diminish. 
So in order to combat that, you have to take some time, get away from them, have some distance from them, have them come to you instead of you going to them. And then here it goes. The game is reversed. The dynamic has reversed. Ice Cube said this right before the election, but they was not ready for it. African America was not ready for that big of a change because they have this fear. We should have stepped back as a unit because they need black voters to push their agenda. But they don't have any respect for black people. They don't. Check out what Kamala Harris said when someone asked her about reparations. Do you support reparations for black people? The, the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. So interesting you say that because every policy that they use against black people helps the Democrats. And for instance, they use the civil rights movement to push their agenda. Now they use words of people of color. Then they say women of color. They look at all people. So they look at Asians of people of color. They look at Indians and what have you. Then they're coming over here illegally winning lawsuits and they're changing the words. They're in the process of giving illegal immigrants families a half a million to $3 million because they came over here illegally and their family is separated. Interesting. Well, tell me what you think about Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Leave a comment below if you like this video. Hit the subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.